What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis and what affects your money and what affects your money here on a daily basis. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do so down below. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. It's completely free to do so. In this video, we're going to be going over the eight states that are sending out stimulus payments this month. That's correct. There is tens of millions of people getting stimulus checks here. That's correct. You might not know this, but we're going to go over this here in this video. And in fact, there is over 20 different states that are sending cash to their residents this year and more could be coming. Yeah, there's a lot, and there's there's probably going to be more coming here as we get closer to the election and as states have $350 billion from the last stimulus package that not a single state has spent it all. And number two, unemployment is near a historic low. It's at 3.6%. And that means states are bringing in more tax dollars. The federal government is bringing in more tax dollars. The federal government has actually paid down $1.7 trillion since last October on the federal deficit. So um, both of them are flush with cash and they're using the money. So uh, they have the ability to send this out. Okay. So that is, uh, they have the likelihood of doing this. 20 states or more actually have already said, yes, we want to send out more payments. We'll be going over that here in this video. So we'll be doing that. My community loved Upside so much, which is why I want to tell you guys about it here again. And I love being able to bring you guys ways to save money here, which is what I'm going to tell you guys about right now. Upside is an app for anybody who buys gas, goes out to eat, buys groceries, and a whole lot more. Use the Upside app to earn cash back on all your purchases at your favorite participating stores and shops. And using Upside is super easy. Simply claim an offer for whatever you're buying on the Upside app, check in at the business and pay as usual with your normal credit card or debit card or however you're normally paying. And then get paid. Plus, with Upside, you can earn up to three times more cash rewards than with other credit cards or other reward programs. And you can cash out your rewards anytime to your bank account, to your PayPal account, or to an e-gift card like Amazon or to other stores, which is pretty amazing. For me, I love using Upside when I get gas because it's something I'm going to buy anyways or even groceries, and this way I get cash back and I'm literally just saving money, which is I mean, how can you beat that, right? So to start using the Upside app, which is completely free to download, just click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment down below, and you get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. So click the link down below right now and start using it. You can download for free. Okay, first, let's go over the eight states that are sending out payments this month. That's correct. This month, these states have already approved these stimulus payments, tax rebate payments, whatever you want to call them, pretty much the same type of thing. Remember that a stimulus payment, actually the official or one of the official names of it is called a tax rebate payment. Um, and uh, these payments are going out here this month. Here we go. Eight states are preparing to roll out direct payments to help residents amid rampant inflation that have strained household budgets across the nation and left Americans struggling with food, gas, and household prices. The relief going out this month comes after the Commerce Department announced a second consecutive quarter of economic contraction. The GDP went down, and um, many people say this is the official definition of a recession. Even though the White House is pushing back and saying, well, we don't think we're in a recession, most analysts say we are in a recession. Here are states that are sending out payments here uh, this month. Delaware. Delaware has been issuing one-time $300 relief checks to every adult resident 
who has filed their 2021 tax return since May and is continuing to roll out payments over the summer. Joint filers will receive will each receive one payment. No additional action is needed for the payments. Residents can check for their status updates on their rebates on the Delaware website. Quote, this relief is intended to help Delawareans face higher prices at the grocery store and the gas pump. So if you're uh, married filing jointly, you can get uh, $600, I believe. Florida, the state of Florida, last month, uh, which is only a few days ago, Governor Ron DeSantis said that about 59,000 low-income families in the state would be eligible to receive a one-time payment of $450 per child, per child to offset the cost of rising inflation, especially with a new school year approaching. Uh, the governor says this one-time payment can be used for anything from buying diapers to fueling up at the pump, he wrote in a letter to the families. It's all, it's not for everybody with children, though, however. You have to qualify under certain programs. Uh, you have to be in the Temporary Cash Assistance Program, uh, T-A-N-F, Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. You have to be a relative or non-relative caregiver funds or have an adaptive foster child in the household. The checks, are, the checks are part of the Hope Florida, a pathway to prosperity program being led by the Florida First Lady Casey DeSantis. However, since then, a lot of uh, Florida residents are saying there is billions and billions of dollars in the Florida stimulus fund from the last stimulus package. And uh, in fact, you can see here, the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan outlines money for both states and local governments like uh, cities and counties and allocated $10.2 billion to Florida's state government. $10.2 billion. Yeah. So just to give you an idea of how much Florida got, any other similar size states population wise would got more um, or, you know, it's based on your population. So Florida residents are saying, what about the other residents in Florida? There's plenty of money left. And um, remember that all states got over a billion dollars. It's based on population. So you can let me know your thoughts here. And as we get closer and closer to the election and governors are up for re-election, so are state uh, assemblymen, state House representatives, state Senate representatives, and uh, U.S. congressmen and U.S. Senate. Remember, there's state senators for your, your, your local state Senate and state House, and then there's the U.S. Uh, Congress and the U.S. Senate. There's a difference if you kind of know where I'm going here. Um, th they're up for re-election as well. The uh, House of Representatives, it, they're all up for re-election. And the United States Senate is uh, one third of them are up for re-election as well. Uh, but governors as well, they can use this money, uh, especially as we get closer and closer to re-election. So since May, Georgia has been sending out one-time rebate checks to taxpayers who filed their state returns for 2020 and 2021 in the amounts of $250 for individuals, $500 for joint filers, and $375 for head of households. The refunds will be based on the filing status of 2020 year tax returns. Uh, Georgia is expecting delays due to the volume of people getting checks, according to their website. The department will issue most of the refunds by early August, for returns that were filed by the April 18th uh, filing deadline this year. Hawaii, aloha, Hawaii Governor David Eich, uh recently signed a tax rebate into law that would roll $300 checks for residents who earn less than $100,000 or $200,000 for joint filers with dependents eligible as well. $300 checks uh, with dependents eligible as well. Individuals who earn more than that, more than $100,000, will receive $100 relief checks. 
They said the payments would be mailed out beginning the end of August. Illinois, Governor J.B. Pritzker estimated that $1.83 billion relief package in the Illinois Family Relief Plan went into effect uh, in July 1st. The plan includes income and property tax rebates, as well as a temporary cut in several sales taxes. So there was multiple different things in this. It's kind of like a state stimulus package because there's multiple different things in here. It's not just one thing per se. Um, you can see here homeowners earning less than $250,000 or 500000 jointly will be eligible for an amount equal to their property tax credit up to $300. So homeowners can get a $300 check. Um, it's also not mentioned here, but I kind of know it. Illinois residents will save on gas, groceries, and property taxes and school supplies with tax holidays, tax cuts, and direct payments. For example, the sales tax cut on groceries, which started on July 1st and goes all the way for an entire year, will save consumers $400 million. And they're going to stop an increase in motor fuel increases. We'll save consumers seventy million as well, and a sales tax for school supplies for a ten-day window starting August fifth through the fourteenth. In addition to the property tax checks, individuals will receive a fifty-dollar income tax check for adults. Couples filing jointly will receive $100 and $100 per dependent that they claim as well. The state of Indiana has been sending out $125 payments to all taxpayers regardless of income since May. Governor Eric Holcomb is urging for lawmakers to send a second payment worth an additional $225, but his calls have received pushback from Senate Republicans who are offering an alternative plan instead that would suspend certain sales taxes and I believe utility taxes as well. So uh, there is that as well, but the $125 payments are still going out here now. The $225 payments or utility taxes that could that you could save and sales taxes could be coming here as well for the state of Indiana. Minnesota frontline workers uh, are eligible for a one-time payment of $750. Checks began going out here last month, but applications were due by July 22nd. New Mexico, multiple rebates have been approved in New Mexico while qualifying taxpayers already received the first payment of their $500 in June. The second payment is expected to arrive in August. As with Indiana, a lot of these states are going to be issuing or may be issuing more checks here going forward. I will keep you up to date on that. Other states working on stimulus checks, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker's plan to send out $250 checks fizzled over the weekend when legislatures failed to come to a consensus. But thanks to an obscure 1986 voter referendum, residents will likely get a payout anyways. According to the statute, once state tax revenue reaches a certain threshold, the Department of Revenue must return any surplus to taxpayers. There's several states that have this, and this is really great for residents. The exact dollar amount is still being determined, but Baker's office has predicted taxpayers would get 7% of their 2021 income taxes back. For someone earning $75,000, that could be about $250, the amount Baker wanted to send out in the first place. But we've seen this with a couple other states that as states keep bringing in more and more money and their state surpluses keep getting bigger and bigger, the checks have gone larger and larger as kind of the months have gone by. It's pretty cool. The state of California has agreed to send out checks of up to 
$1,050. These payments are coming from a $97 billion surplus. Yeah. And uh, yeah, almost a $100 billion surplus. These will go out to people who earn less than $75,000 a year and couples who earn less than $150,000 a year will receive $350 per person and another $350 if they have any dependents, okay? So if you're an adult, $350. If you're married, two $350 for a total of $700. If you have a child, $1,050, okay? Or if you're single, $350. Two children can go up to $1,050, okay? Uh, if you earn more than this, which in California can, can be very likely with the high cost of living in some areas, uh, you can still get a check. You just might get a little bit less. If you're in between $75,000 and $125,000 a year, you'll get checks, same thing, just $250 per taxpayer. Or if you earn between $125,000 and $250,000, you'll get a check of $200 each with a maximum of $600 or a maximum of $750. Uh, as noted. The state of Colorado residents who have filed their 2021 tax return by June will get a check of $750 by September, while joint filers will get $1,500. Filers who received an extension and filed by October 17th deadline will receive their refund by January 31st, um, hopefully sooner. But seven hundred fifty dollars by September, so that's uh, that's a big check there. Idaho, which has already had their checks go out, was seventy five dollars to each taxpayer and dependent, or twelve percent of their tax return. Illinois, we already covered. Maine, which already had their checks go out um, last month, was eight hundred and fifty dollars per person. Couples finally and jointly was a total of $1,700. That was really good. By the way, Massachusetts already sent out $500 stimulus checks to low-income workers in the spring. To qualify, you had to have an income at 300% below the federal poverty level and not received unemployment compensation in 2021 as well. So now they might be sending another one, which is cool. By the way, Minnesota, which had the $750 frontline workers, Governor Tim Waltz has also called for a special session of the legislature to pass a proposed check income tax rebate of $1,000 for individual filers earning less than $165,000 and $2,000 for couples. So I'll keep you up to date on that as well because that's $1,000 to $2,000 for the state of Minnesota. So that could be coming here soon as well. Uh, the state of New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy, has already signed off on a $500 tax rebate for nearly 1 million New Jersey residents. He's also supported payments to taxpayers who use a uh, taxpayer identification numbers. In June, he announced a plan to provide more than $2 billion in rebates to approximately 2 million New Jersey households. The plan would offer as much as $1,500 to families who pay property taxes, but would also benefit renters as well. New York, in June, about 3 million New York State homeowners started receiving property tax rebates of up to $1,050. Uh, New, New York City households got an average of $425, and um, those went out here... Um, about a month ago or so. So that was good. Pennsylvania in July, more than 260,000 older homeowners, renters, and people with disabilities started receiving part of a massive $121 million payout issued through the property tax rent rebate program. Eligible residents should visit the MyPath website or file a paper application through uh, before the deadline of December 31st. The maximum rebate is $650, but supplemental rebates for qualifying homeowners can boost the amount to $975. Yeah, so you can check the website for that. South Carolina income tax refunds of up to $800 will be sent to South Carolina taxpayers starting in November. 
as any resident who paid at least $100 in taxes will receive $100 with up to $800 if you paid up to $800. Virginia, the state of Virginia, after clearing the General Assembly in July, Virginians will receive one-time checks starting in September. Individual filers will receive $250, while married couples who file together will get $500 in the state of Virginia. And I will keep you up to date here on more states as they come out. Some states issue even more payments uh, going forward here. And uh, make sure to subscribe down below and click the bell icon down below to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Make sure to hit the like button for us as well uh, so you don't miss out on new videos. And make sure to check out Upside down below here in the pinned comment. And I will keep you up to date here with everything you need to know about here on a daily basis. You can click here to see new stimulus rent money that may be coming. And you can click here to see a major bill that was just passed. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.